I've come to learn a thing or two about irrigation systems, but by no means am I an expert. And I thought for this video, I would go over the six different things that I've learned when it comes to irrigation systems, especially when it comes to flipping it on for the very first time at the start of the lawn season. But before doing all of that, we're gonna mow that. Looking nice and bushy and thick up through here. So it is starting to grow like crazy. Time to let Walt have a little snack. First thing, obviously, turn the system on. Now we flip the switch to the sprinkler system, get the secondary water flowing into my lines, and then we'll turn them on manually and then use the app to turn on the heads zone by zone and see what's up. Secondary lines come in through here, into the box here, and then out to my property this way, going into the backyard and then over to the front right there. So we got a box there, one up there, and then this is the main control valve for the secondary lines right here. And if I are in Georgia, this would terrify me because what's not me wants to kill me every time I open these things. Not too bad. For me, because I've got a secondary line coming into the property, I've got my own shutoff valve for that second line. When the company that controls that secondary water tells me that the lines are charged from their source to my property. And water is flowing. Now that water's flowing, the system's on, it's time to take a look around at the system, at the different sprinkler heads, and see if anything's in this. I'm gonna turn each one of these on by hand first, just to make sure they're okay. And then I'll use the control box here just to make sure the system and the app and all that kind of stuff is working okay. Well, that's a problem. Is anything busted? Are there any valves or heads or nozzles that are broken? If so, swap those out with the right parts. If there are filters involved, are those clean? Take a good look at them, clean them out if you can. If not, toss them, put in new ones. Also make sure that each irrigation head is standing tall. Make sure that it's level with the lawn. It's not at a weird angle or anything's amiss there. You also want to make sure that they're not too low and they're not too high. Adjust them as necessary to avoid any kind of watering woes that might come throughout the season and avoid any kind of tripping hazard. So here's one we're gonna have to fix because it's all cattywampus. Not standing up straight. Can't tell from this angle. Here, watch out buddy. Let me get right there. Uh, you still can't tell because the rock's here in the way, but it's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa kind of sticking out of the angle like that. So we gotta straighten that one out. And then we got a few here in the front that we're gonna have to go through and straighten out as well. But uh, yeah, none of them are broken, which is good. They're all working like they need to. They're throwing as far as they need to. Good stuff. So that's the first most basic thing. Now let's go on to the second thing. Let's dive a little bit deeper. You wanna make sure that impact sprinklers heads, nozzles, all of that kind of stuff, 
they are free from any kind of debris. Also is now a great time to ensure that you've got the proper spacing for your irrigation and you're getting even watering. You wanna try and get head to head coverage, both side to side, front to back. So across the lawn and then on the sides. And make sure that when you're turning on the system that all the sprinklers are on the same zone and they match up properly to your control box. Third thing, simply just watch the water. Turn the system on, make sure that your nozzles, your heads, that the system is throwing into the appropriate place. You don't wanna be watering concrete, you wanna be watering grass or plants. So make sure that those nozzles are adjusted accordingly. Fourth thing, and this is one that I had to learn the hard way, do a valve check. First of all is the valve box at the appropriate height. You wanna make sure it's not sticking out like a sore thumb and you're gonna trip over it. And you also wanna make sure that it's not sunk too deep. Get it at a nice even level with your yard if possible. Also open up that valve box and check the valves. You wanna make sure those valves aren't leaking. If they are, you're gonna to have to either open those up, clear out any kind of debris, put it back together, run it again to make sure that it's working properly. And if you've got cracked or broken valves, obviously replace those as need be. If you do end up with a leaky valve, you're gonna have a situation like what I had before I replaced all of my sprinkler heads in the old system. The old system, this area right here, which is constantly saturated, it's because one of the valves was leaking because it was clogged up. I had to take it apart, clean it out, and once I did that, this area dried up and there was no more leaking from the head. So nine times out of 10 from what I've researched, if you've got a leaking head, it's not really the head, go check the valve first. Okay, fifth tip, you wanna run some tests. I've already talked about this, but turn the system on and make sure that everything is flowing properly. Check for leaks, cracked heads, or leaking caps. Fix any kind of drainage issues that you might have and check for any pipes that might be leaking and are just completely broken and need to be replaced. Some of the heads are broken, and the valves are leaking or broken. Minor adjustments along the edges here, so all is well in the back. Finally, sixth tip, fine tune your system. This is a time for you to go through and make any kind of adjustments to your impact sprinklers, your rotary heads, your rotator heads, whatever equipment you have, go through and make those fine tune adjustments, adjusting the arc, and the radius to make sure that you've got the proper coverage. Bonus tip, make sure you have more than enough parts going into the lawn season. I would recommend going out there, buying more than what you need so that you've got it on hand to fix any kind of issues you might have right away. That's all I've got for this one. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of issues you've had and how you fixed that. It's always fun to kind of read those kinds of things and we can all learn together. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Keep on keeping on and I will catch you in the next one.